joined by Isaac Pena, head coach Eric Lezzi, and Sean Toach. Start off with a statement from Coach Lezzi about today's match. Next honor. Um, I mean, uh, credit to, to Western. They didn't make it easy for us. Um, definitely a worthy tournament participant. And as we expected, even though we, you know, we're able to get, uh, get, get, get three goals and, and a multiple victory, it, it does not mean it was an easy game. Um, I thought we made the most of a couple of half chances. Um, and then I thought for the most part after that, the guys just kind of managed things pretty well to, to make sure that we were able to limit uh, any chances that, that they made of trying to create. What's a win like this mean for your program, especially for you, Dan? Well, I think it's I think it's huge, you know. Um, I think I said it earlier in the week. We expect to be the kind of team that is in this position every year. Um, so the fact that it happened this year, uh, we we're hosting, good crowd, guys played hard, and we we're able to come out with the kind of result that we did. Um, I'm pleased for the guys, and I'm pleased for the the statement it makes about where our program's at, and, and hopefully. You've been talking about uh, all year, Coach, how you want your team to give a 90-minute performance. Would you say this was close to a 90-minute performance by the team? <laughs> um, it, it was a weird game, to be honest. I know the score was 2-0 at halftime. I didn't think we were great in the first half. I don't know that I could have expected us to be great. You know, I think sometimes, even despite our best efforts as a coaching staff to, to get the guys in the right place and make sure they're kind of loose mentally. Um, the reality is it's an NCAA tournament game. It's the first one any of these guys have ever played in. And there's just a natural uh, nervousness, nervousness and anxiety to go along with that. And so I thought it took our guys a while to, to work through the nerves. Um, but I thought the second half would be much better. Sean and Isaac, just what was this experience like playing in your, in your first NCAA tournament? Great experience, and uh, we definitely want to repeat this performance and carry on this win on to the next game. I mean, the next game is going to be tough, and we play well. Um, like what Sean said, it's basically like for me, it's like a really good experience. It's a freshman coming in and having to come this far, and I'm just, we're just looking forward to the next game. This year. And uh, coach, did you mentioned you were up two nothing at half. Did you feel like you should have? Had a couple more goals, having the uh, seven corner kicks, and a couple more opportunities. Um, I don't know. I don't know if I can say that, to be honest, because because I, re I really think we were at our best in the first half. Um, so I felt I felt fortunate that we had scored two goals. Um, not necessarily unfortunate that we didn't have one. And it seemed like you guys came out with a ton of energy in the first half. Obviously, it's a big game. Did you feel like that carried out throughout the whole game? Excited to see that, or um, energy, energy. I think I actually thought our energy was inconsistent. I thought there were there were plenty of moments during the game, plenty of stretches during the game that it was quite good. Uh, but I thought on the whole, I also thought there were there were stretches of the game where we were a little bit tentative. Um, but again, like I said, it's, it's to be expected. You know, I, I can't as much as we tried to take the pressure off the guys. It's an NCAA tournament game. It's the first time these guys have been in this environment, so it's going to be natural that there's there some nerves. Um, Seth Peetson, how much did your guys' sides play a role? Um, well, it helps. I mean, they were they're 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 a very technical uh, team, and usually when you have a very technical team, you don't have a very big team. Uh, I like to think of, of us. We're, we're a technical team too, but we're, we're fortunate we have some bigger pieces, um, and it definitely helps. For uh, Sean and Isaac, just how how much of playing on the home field help you guys? Um, I mean, you feel comfortable at home, but still, it's it's not a game. I mean, and it really didn't make feel like that, that much of a difference. I mean, it's the same game no matter where you play it's at. Uh, for me, it's got a different way. Having the crowds come out to watch the game, I think that just make me feel like. I got the nervousness out the way, just ready to play, just to make them have fun watching us play and just things like that. So it was a different experience for me. I like them. I like I like having the crowds. Sean, that first 
suppose, you know, what were you looking for and just get kicked through? I mean, it was just kind of a scrappy goal. I mean, just kind of followed through on the play and got lucky. I mean, fortunate to have the ball bounce right to me and no one really tracking me. So, I mean, it was, I was kind of gifted the goal. And there's another question for Coach. Uh, 12th shutout on the year, just defense doing their job as usual. Well. Just talk about them a little bit. Um, I mean, what did we, I think we limited them to one shot on goal. Well, one or two. One or two. One or two. Um, yeah, one. Uh, it was another very good performance. Um, anytime you do that, you limit a team like that, it's, 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 it's a statement of the group as a whole. All 11 guys have to be bought into that. Um, but for sure, the, the back six and Jordan um, were generally very solid today. Because uh, like I said, I mean, they did. In, in, in the final third, they could play. They had some guys that could play in the strikers and combined, and they had some pretty good movement. Um, and there was a couple of scary moments, but for the most part, I thought in those moments our guys kept their composure very well uh, to, to limit the opportunities that they could get. How much guys have you done on crates? Uh, zero, to be honest. We, we'll be starting that in about 15 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else? Please, guys. All right, thank you very much. Okay, thanks, guys.